Okay, this is awkward because I want to say I'm ready to share something, but at the same time I'm not ready, but at the same time I never will be, if that makes any sense. However, I'm at a point where it feels like I'm going to just stagnate in recovering and starting through this unless I do talk about it. And I, I, I need to keep recovering. Um, so the thing I want to talk about Oh, it's a tough one. I keep getting emotional, so I keep trying to redo this. I was 22, I think, when I got into a um, an abusive relationship, which I got out of three years ago, so I was in it for five years. Um... I mean, I've talked some about having been abused, but never really gave any kind of clear timeline, um, aside from talking to a few close friends um, and therapists, you know. But um, I, I never first said anything that could be tied down to, oh yes, this person. Um, so it's kind of scary to do that. Oh God, and I keep getting emotional and I keep having to redo this because I wind up just going all over the place and like, okay, well that's kind of incomprehensible. Sorry people, I'm not gonna throw this at you. Let me do this again. <laughs> and of course, this is scary. I mean, I don't anticipate necessarily this getting back to him, but if it does, then he might be all like, hey, you, why are you doing this? And that might bring him back into my, into my life, which he's out of it now. That's good. I want him to stay out of my life. By the way, this is my view. Pretty nice. And yes, this is me going into distraction mode of like, yay, but this is so pretty. Ooh, let's show the people the pretty woodsy area that I live right next to because I don't want to talk about my shit. So why am I talking about it now? Um, it feels like I'm keeping his dirty little secrets. Um, and that is intolerable 